Good morning, everyone. It's Rafe Gal. We are playing some more ActRaiser. Uh, the new ActRaiser Renaissance. Uh, we are jumping right into the first development phase. By specifying the manner in which roads can be built, we can di direct development. That's the same way it used to be. From the command list, click Offer Guidance to proceed. Move the angel to your intended destination. Up to eight tiles can be designated. However, bear in mind that roads cannot be built across rocks, trees, and other obstacles. That's the same as it used to be. And confirm to finalize the route and guide the people. Perhaps we should direct them to expand to the north and west. Okay. This is definitely... That is how you're supposed to do it. But, um, yeah. Okay, let's see. I sense a fearsome magic emanating from this lair. Alas, your chosen lack the sufficient strength in numbers to act against the fiends. Yeah, we'll just... that's fine. It's done. The Filmorans will expand their settlement in accordance with your will. So we're gonna get roads. During each phase and you can see there we're gonna get <laughs> i find that kind of funny because we're seeing more than two people but thank you for your loving guidance we shall proceed to expand the settlement in the direction you have indicated absent your construction they'll be overwhelmed by indecision and unable to determine a direction in which to expand but look now they'll leap into action and begin building more structures continue to direct them and they'll honor you with dil diligent labor Yes, that's lovely, but we... Okay. It's a monster lair. From those bros have been, uh, emerge winged fiends that delight in tormenting your children from the skies above. I am more than capable of dispatching them. You must only direct me to do so. Okay. Use the arrow keys to move. Press attack. Press and hold the attack to charge, and it'll release three. Nice, that's new. Uh, monsters can damage the angel... And all he er, and it disables him for a time. They are slow, apparently. You've granted us with er, the land you've granted us is filled with many trees. Uh, we lack the means to extend our. Uh, yep. Okay, fear their tools will prove useless when brought it to bear. Their actions will invite the land's reprisal. They cry out for a miracle. Why not come for them? Okay, yep, we're gonna... Okay. So we've got lightning, rain, sun, wind, and earthquake. Um... And then we can pick a location... Okay, so we're gonna do Divine Lightning. I'm gonna shoot there. Your lightning smote the trees which hindered our development. Okay. Should other impediments require removal, I'm sure your lightning can suffice. While you could bring more destructive power to bear against your people's homes as well, I have no doubt that you will not, for your boundless love and grace. Well, that's probably fair. Your children are doing their very best to develop and expand. I think it would be prudent to adopt a rather more passive approach. Wait and see. So our SP meter rebuilds by taking out these demons, and every f so every five demons we kill, we can get another lightning bolt. Population has not boomed yet, even though we've got all these 
people that appear to be there. There we go. They just suddenly grew to 30. And you can see they're 42. Okay. In the top right corner. We are plagued by monsters still. By your grace, we have been made great strides in reclaiming our land. Our families flourish and our dominions grow larger. You have done so much for us. And so we have decided that rather than cower in our homes, we wish to go forth and confront the fiends. Okay. So they're going to go take out the monster lair. We're going to do a ritual to close it. Within the monster's lair, we found terrible relics, orge which pulse with foul, malevolent energies. All who have beheld them believe that they have some connection to the fiends. They're spawners, devices which facilitate the appearance of cancerous minions. Without them, monsters will not issue forth from the lair. They must be destroyed. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, what? Okay, that's different. Do we have to actually go over here? Oh, okay. So this, er, so now there's actually a platforming phase within the. Okay, so each monster's layer is like a mini stage. Okay, that's kind of neat. I'm, I'm not opposed to that. The people rejoice, O Lord, for their lair to the northwest has been forever sealed by your divine intervention. This miraculous display fills us with renewed hope and reminds us that if you ever watch over your children... Yep. That is one less layer to befoul the land. And I, who must purge the errant fiends whensoever they appear, may labor somewhat less tiredly than before. Okay, Angel. Hey, that's kind of cool. Uh, we're gonna do some lightning. We chanced to find a stranger lying unconscious near the ruins of the monster's lair. We nursed him back to health. He named himself Philotus. He then proceeded to share with us a tale most strange. He claims these lands uh he claims he ruled these lands self er, centuries ago until by magic dark he was cursed to sleep. So this is where you pray to your vaunted Lord of Light. Tis an impressive temple indeed. Yet wasteful for prayers will avail you not, I Look not to the gods, for only men can save themselves in the end. Who does he think he is to speak such blasphemy in the presence of the master? I shall manifest and reprimand him at once. You would be well, uh, do well to mind your tongue in this holy place. I am an angel, the right hand of the master, the lord of light, who I'm sure is looking at you very crossly right now. An angel, really? Then gods truly exist, well I'll be a him. Forgive me, O oh lord, for my earlier commentary. I am a stranger to the Fimorians, and yet they came to my aid without hesitation. Such, ki such kindness w must be repaid. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure what that means, but that's kind of cool.
It's just chilling out there. That's pretty cool. Okay, this is always the, the the best part of the game, although in the original game, these monsters spawned a lot faster. Okay, something strange has been happening. I've been experiencing visions of things that have come to or not yet come to pass. I glimpsed the most terrifying future, a horde of monsters, an army marching on our settlement. These visions are your work, are they not? We have heard your warning, but we know not what to do. Uh, I gather from your expression that was not your work. Nevertheless, I wouldn't be surprised if the fiends yearned to revenge themselves. The settlement is not equipped to withstand an organized attack. That much is plain. I will teach your, peop your, your people how to construct forts. Okay. So this is going to be a, a new thing. Uh, it looks like they took some of the um, tower defense features from Soul Seraph, which is was kind of vaunted as the spiritual successor to Actraiser. Forts are structures that serve to protect the settlement from monsters. However, in order to build them, you need materials, which can be produced by workshops. Okay, so yeah, this turns into kind of a uh, RTS slash tower defense thing. And they'll benefit from our guidance. Okay. So do we have... Is that something they're going to do on their own? Gotcha. Okay. So I say, I'm waiting for them er, to have the ability. We have... Okay, so that's where the workout managing forts. Okay, they're invulnerable structures which serve to bolster your defenses against a horde of monsters. Press manage forts to proceed. After that, click on the build fort markers. Locations marked in red are already occupied. Okay. Prior to placement, you can use next or previous to construct different types of forts. Okay. Gatehouses can be placed on roads. And blockhouses are along side roads. They serve as vantage points from ar for archers. Okay. Um. Okay. We built a new fort to defend our home. Thank you for your guidance. Mortals are quite adept at devising means to defend themselves. Yep. The number of a uh, number of your people have trifling concerns. You can listen to their prayers. Okay. settlement has grown. Do you see that? North smoke. Oh no. Quarrel between your foolish children has led to one setting the other's house on fire. If it spreads, then the entire settlement could be reduced. Okay. 
So we're being prayed to by this woman for rain. Thank you for the gentle rains you have brought forth to smother the raging fires. Long shall we celebrate this demonstration of your love and mercy. Okay. Start a fire to in your own settlement, only to beg gods to put it out. Preposterous, illogical, and yet oddly endearing. Foolish mortals. Okay, Legendary Chronicle, Philetus 5. Increase the level of Philetus of Philemore. And we got 100 faith. Legendary Chronicles. These are highly coveted items that can be employed to enhance the ability of Philetus and other allied units. Uh, select inventory from the menu to peruse the items in your possession and use the Chronicles to increase the allied units level. Okay. Our fort stands finished. We have made what preparations we can. Bless us and keep us. Horde of monsters! They march on the settlement! Okay. So, apparently we get this. Uh... Okay. It's going to give us an opportunity to level up first. Will it just gain a level? Okay. Settlement Siege. Endure the Horde's Assault. Brace yourself. Settlement Defense. To beat the monsters, you must make use of tools at your disposal. Forts, allied units like Philetus and Miracles. Enemies will attack the settlement from multiple directions. Should they reach your temple, they'll attempt to raise it. The game will end in defeat. Forts automatically engage enemies. You'll need to direct allied units uh, to the location you wish to defend, as well as employ Miracles at the time and place of your choosing. Okay, that's kind of cool. For some reason, we can't use our bow and arrow. That's dumb. Let's hope the gatehouse will hold fast. Okay, so that's our only unit, I get, as far as I can tell. Okay, your children go to reinforce the gatehouse. The enemy will advance no further, but mustn't forget that they are mere mortals. Should an adversary commit to an overwhelming force, they'll be swept aside. Okay. Palisades will delay them. Okay, so we're going to be able to lay those across the road to slow them down. They will be destroyed, and then we can advance again. Palisades in possession. Oh, we don't actually even have Palisades right now? Why did you tell me about them?
Another raiding party from the east. Okay. Automatically move towards engaged enemies. They can possess special techniques and can be used to reinforce forts. Command ally. Okay. They'll gradually recover. Okay. I'm still slightly annoyed that they're talking about those palisades when we don't actually have the means to make them, but oh well. The north, the enemy comes in force. Uh, apparently I should have been saving my miracles. Divine focus determines that during battle, only your foes will be subject to your wrath. <laughs> okay. You'll be able, unable to use another for a time. Okay. Good to know. Now I know. Knowing is half the battle. Whoops. We are completely out of SP, so hopefully... That would be a palisade, yep, better than nothing. Okay, we'll look at that once we actually have new people. Okay. Well, that was interesting. I didn't hate it. <laughs> I am really looking forward to seeing... I think we've won! We've never managed to hold off those fiends without your help. That's true. I cannot dispute the man's considerable cons uh, contribution. He is a credit to his fellow mortals. Thanks, Angel. Okay, we've got a little more faith. Oh, hey, we got uh, a bunch of SP randomly. Building phase. Demolish as many of the trees that we need to uh, on the way. Oh, there's an option to visit the temple. None among your children wish to entreat your divine intervention at this time. Oh. Okay, so that's, that's only when we have quests. Resolve to seek out another monster slayer. Once more, we beseech you for guidance. Okay. Bulletus, the Filmorans go to confront the fiends, yet you do not go. Such labors are theirs and theirs alone, although I do wish them to do well. I 
trust you saw that. Sloth is such an ill-becoming trait. <laughs> you might become one of the heroes prophesied. Okay. We have breached this den of evil and found more unholy relics. We are your frail and imperfect children. We are powerless to destroy them. We bent or beg that you lend us your might. Sure. Sure, why not? Okay, there's the spawner. In helping you see the lair sealed, your children have grown more confident. They may now oppose enemies more vigorously. Okay, so now they can build fortifi more fortifications. Maximum number has increased. All's well that ends well. What was that you said about heroes prophesied? I think you did not address the right hand of the Lord of Light so casually. Yes, well, a thousand pardons, but it is a question asked in earnest. Okay, long ago, owing to the foul machinations of Tanzra, the Lord of Dark, the Lord of Light was made to depart this realm. Legend I can share with you now was passed down by mortals who survived the ancient time of strife. They did not despair if they knew in their hearts that they had not been abandoned. When the burning star traversed the heavens, their lord would appear in six heroes. Uh, these heroes would pledge their power and immortal souls to the Lord of Light, and together they would fight without rest until Tanzra was banished forevermore. Well, I've... Say you'd had the right of it before. I've been called many things, but a legendary hero not once. Okay. Take a moment to return to the Sky Palace and commit this to history. To save, you return to the Sky Palace. Yep. Okay. So, I'm gonna real quick... Ah! What are you doing? We've cultivated many fields and we'll soon reap a bountiful harvest. When we do, we'll bring to your temple the finest portion of the crop and offer it to you as an expression of your love. Resources. Some structures will produce additional resources. Fields generate fruits and potions. Fruit can be collected to replenish the angel's HP. Potions can be collected to replenish SP. Workshops generate materials. And palisades. Okay. Resources will eventually be lost if not collected. Yep. Ah. Okay, so we're gonna gather three fruits from the field. Okay. But first, uh, we're gonna use this last SP that we've got floating here. And then we're gonna go save. And this is gonna be a good spot to end 
this video. So, this has been interesting. I, I do enjoy this. Oh, wow. Yep, glad we're saving. Uh, I'm having fun with this, especially this uh, this mode. The I'm hoping that it'll become more difficult as it goes, because I was really not impressed with that first level, or, or a lot of the difficulty of this compared to the original. So I'm kind of hoping that it ramps up as we go. And, you know, I feel like that's not a terrible thing for a modern game. Uh, that is a definitely a conceit to the time the original was made, which is fine. Um, I like harder games, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't start with tutorials. So, yeah. Anyway, hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.